So with any plastic surgery, with any surgery, there are risks associated with the procedure. Now for the true Brazilian butt lift procedure with fat grafting, the risks involve the following. You always have the risk of a general anesthetic. This procedure takes three to four hours to do. Again, many, many steps to be taken in meticulous work. So it's three to four hours under general anesthetics. Um, whenever a surgery is a bit longer, there are risk of cluttings in the legs with any surgery. Uh, clotting in the legs can travel to the lungs. So we're talking cardiovascular risks and those are risks with surgery and general anesthetics. Now particular to fat grafting procedure, the risks are fat could in theory be pushed into a blood vessels and that fat could travel to the lungs and give what we call fat embolism. It's extremely rare but it's a serious complication. More minor complication which are present with many fat grafting procedures, especially in the buttocks where a large volume is injected, is irregularities. Surface irregularities, lumps and bumps. Uh, some of the fat, if it's injected in a little bigger uh, bolus or a little ball, the inner part will not survive. It dies and becomes hard. So it's a hard nodule in the buttock area that may take up to a year for that lump to dissolve into oil and to go away. And sometimes it doesn't all go away or that fat grafting becomes a scar, lumps that needs to be cut out surgically. So that's something that we see with fat grafting to the buttocks. The most common issue with Brazilian butt lift is again, the loss of some of the fat. People get excited the first few weeks, it looks good. It's a combination of a lot of fat, swelling, bruising. Uh, it looks great, it's full. And then over three months, some of the fat goes away. Again, 30 to 70% goes away. The swelling goes away, the bruising goes away. And now they're left with something a lot less than what they started the week after surgery. And I see this also with breast augmentation, for example. Because they swell up after surgery, they get used to that volume very quickly. And then within a month when the bruising and the swelling goes, they get what we had chosen as a volume. And that's why a lot of women wish they would have gone a little bit bigger, just because they got used to a larger volume. Now with fat grafting, the change is more drastic because not only you have the swelling and the bruising that goes away, you also have loss of fat. And it can be disappointing to both the surgeon and the patient. That's why again, I'm, I, I like to combine fat grafting with implants if we're looking for a nice smooth volume. If I think the implant will not give you the full, full volume the patient is looking for, then I add the fat to it, but at least they have something predictable and stable.